Hello traders, welcome to Alaslu. This is Deepan Gogoi. Today we'll discuss about the bank nifty, pivot point, support and resistance, and market trend and market range. This is bank nifty, and uh, today pivot point you can see here 26,860, and the first resistance 26,950, and the second resistance 27,000. 38 and the third resistance 26,128 and the first resistance 26,772 and the second resistance 26,682 and the third 26,594 and this is Bank Nifty daily chart so you can see and I place some line here like uh, resistance and support so i just removing the supporting line so here you can see bank nifty is uh, placing after right so after and they are creating a higher high right now market you can see here okay So here you can see one thing, they are creating higher high right, higher high, higher low and uh, today you can see they are trying to break this resistance line. So previously I draw a resistance connecting the previous uh, resistance and supporting line, uh, you can see around 27,000. So today they are trying to break out this level, so if they break out this level, so I think uh, it will create a new higher high so according to this uh, strategy that one the price action now problem is here uh, how I uh, we will determine that price will go that level that is why I'm using here Fibonacci so Fibonacci uh, that means connecting the previous wave so it called wave so now I'm drawing the level of extension so let me explain so here you can see this is wave so if you think this one a x and this one a wave and this retracement call b wave and this extension call c wave so this one call impulsive wave corrective wave impulsive wave and the d corrective wave we need now e if they break this level what is the e right what is the e wave so i projecting that e wave will be here this will be e wave right our target will be 27000 and this target will be 27,672 or 70. This will be target here. You can see this is E wave according to Fibonacci and Elliott wave. So you can see when we place um, B and C wave like B and C wave this one that means when we place B and C wave in a Fibonacci they create D wave they create D wave that means the retracement of 50 percent so have you seen one this one this is the retracement of C wave all right B C wave and we got a D wave and after that now what is the e wave e wave will be bc extension of 123 percent 123 percent extension of bc wave of b c wave okay this is e wave right this is e wave okay so it it will be daily so if you see uh, by using fibonacci by extending this one 
PC web, it will be uh, thirty-eight percent of extension CD web. So our projecting is uh, sorry, our projection is like uh, twenty-six thousand. Sorry, 27,670 level will be our projection. So now let's come to okay. Now let's come to small time frame, it will be daily time frame. But one thing you have to concern like if they're not able to break this level around 27,600, so it might come again. So they will create a double top pattern okay so let's see in a small time frame like uh, so four hour if you see in a four hour it is same pattern they cross 200 moving averages and they are now trying to break this previous um, like it's a resistance line so in a small time frame 15 minute to the market open a gap up but if you see let me smaller let me see smaller right now what market is happening here so you can see there's some pattern is forming like 20 200 moving average breakdown again market gone up so here you can see 200 moving average broke down and again gone up now here here you can see one thing so here they are forming a flag pattern this will be a flag pattern right this will be flag pattern so after breaking this resistance line so you can see this resistance line it is confirming that market will go up right so already they broke this resistance line which is that means diagon diagonal resistance line so they're forming like that when they broke this area it it was a good entry point okay it was a good entry point here so next entry point will be like here when you will break this previous higher point so now you can see it will be higher point so now you just wait for a little while so let them break this previous high and go for buy it is going for buy opportunity after breaking this previous hi right so i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks for watching